Hi, it's Carl Kwan here from PresentationExpressions.com. On our website, if you come and visit, a lot of great information and tips to help you give better presentations in English and also a lot of free expressions that you can also use to actually give your presentations too. In this video, I'm actually going to show you how to introduce yourself in a very, very short and easy way. And I'm going to show you three steps for doing that. Now, why is introducing yourself so important? Well, number one, it's probably one of the most difficult things to do, right? When somebody asks you, tell me about yourself, right? Or when they say, who are you, right? What, what do you do? What do you usually say? Well, usually we go into some big, long-winded story about who we are and what we do, and the person gets really bored. Now, this is even worse when you're giving a presentation, because in a presentation, you only have a very short amount of time to get the audience's attention before they completely drift off and want to do something else or just tune you out. So what can you do? Well, you can do something like an elevator pitch. If you don't know what an elevator pitch is, it's a short, usually 15 or 30 second introduction to yourself, right, about yourself, that tells everything that somebody might want to hear. Maybe a big client or your audience in this case, whatever they might want to hear in a very, very short amount of time. It gives them all the information they're going to need. So how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you three easy steps to do that. Step number one is, of course, to give a quick introduction to your name and company. So your name and company would be first. So I would say, for example, hi, my name is Carl Kwan from Presentation Expressions. Then the second part and the third part are actually the most critical. The second part to this, I'll change pens here, get one that actually works a little better. The second part to this is you want to talk about what value you provide to people. What is it that you do that is special that can help somebody? And usually you can start by saying, our specialty, or I help, okay, or we help, or whatever it may be. Okay, so you want to use the word help. So you want to talk about your specialty, specialty, or whatever it is your value that you provide people. As an example, I would say, Hi, I'm Carl Kwan. I'm from PresentationExpressions.com, and we help people to learn to give English presentations easily and quickly. Right? My specialty and what my value is. I help people who cannot give presentations well in English and I help them in some way. That's my value. Now the third part of this, step number three, is to say who you can actually help. Because people want to know if they are the ones that you can help. Now how do you do that? You would use the word even. And you would also follow that by even if. What does even if mean? It means even if you can't do this, you can still do it. It gives them the possibility that you can help anybody. As an example, I would say here, Hi, my name is Carl Kwan. I'm from PresentationExpressions.com. We help people who don't speak English well to give English presentations really quickly and easily and also very, very effectively. Even if they've never given an English presentation or they're totally scared of speaking in front of people. Pretty simple, right? I just said my name, my company, I said what value or service I provide, then I talked about the worst possible case that I could deal with. People who are non-English speakers, who have to give an English presentation, who maybe are scared of speaking, and who've never given a presentation before. I could talk about those things. So in that very, very short amount of time, I've just introduced myself and what I can do. So let me quickly review what I just said. Three easy steps to introducing yourself to give a really quick introduction using, a, using an elevator style pitch, okay, an elevator pitch style. Number one, introduce your name and your company very, very briefly. Then you want to go right into step number two, which was to talk about your specialty or the kind of value that you provide or the problem or the, rather the solution that you can provide or the problem that you can solve. Then you want to go into step number three, which was to talk about the worst case scenario that you could encounter that you could help them to. Very, very simple. So here it is.
Hi, my name is Carl Kwan. I'm from PresentationExpressions.com, and I help people give English presentations in a very effective and easy manner, especially for people who don't speak English very well or English is their second language. Now, I can help people even if they have never given a presentation before, are scared to death of giving a presentation, and especially hate giving English presentations. There you are. So, go ahead and try that, write that out, and if you like, you can even send in your examples to us, email them to us, and we can check them for you. Make sure you do sign up for our weekly newsletters as well. We're going to have a lot of tips and great information for you and some sample presentations too. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.